Hi, do you have a Tello EDU drone you want to do more than just fly it around with an app and just control it like if it's a remote control plane? Well, this is the tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can actually take this drone and actually start coding it by using Python. Now, this is some of the cooler things that you can do with the drone. So you can actually move away from set applications like Swift Playgrounds and move into actually coding your drone with Python syntax. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Python environment to be able to talk to your Tello EDU drone. Now, the first thing we need to be able to do is actually get the packages and install those into Python to be able to talk to the drone. To do this, you'll need to download some files from GitHub. So if you go to GitHub and look for code for fun, Sydney forward slash Tello, you'll be able to find this set of files. Now to get these files, just click on code and download zip. You'll notice down the bottom corner, I now have Tello master zip. We're gonna need these files a little bit later. The next thing you need to do is make sure you've got the latest version of Python. So if you haven't done so, go to Python, download, head to python.org. Now you need to download the latest version. So this is 3.96. I'm using a Mac, so I'll be downloading the Mac version of this. So click on download and you can also install this. Once you have the latest version of Python installed, the last thing I'm going to be using is the PyCharm EDU environment. So open up another tab, type in PyCharm, space EDU, and then download. Go to JetBrains, make sure you select Python, and then you can download the DMG file, or if you've got a Windows environment, you can also download this for Windows as well. Once that's installed, you're ready to go. Drag the Tello master zip file, place that on top of your desktop, and let's get underway. Okay, now I've opened up PyCharm, I'm gonna start a new project. First thing it's gonna ask me is the location of the file. This is gonna be on my desktop, but rather than Python project, I'm just gonna change this. And I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this tello-edu and click on create and then click open to select those files. So you can see that location is going to be tello-edu on my desktop and this is where my files will be built. And then underneath the location here, this is the virtual environment. So you can see that it's got a tello-edu, which is this folder. Inside of that is the virtual environment. So virtual, V-E-N-V, -E so it's virtual environment. Now this is important because we're going to import the tello package into the virtual environment. And we're going to basically run our project in here. Now it's a good idea that you're using Python 3.9 or above. And so therefore, if you don't have that showing, you can actually click down and scroll down and select it. Rewind the YouTube clip quickly, you'll be able to install that and come back to this stage. Once you've done that, click on create. The project folder will then be open. You can see that I'm working on my desktop with Tello EDU and you can see the virtual environment files here. Now what we need to do is actually import those zip files into this folder. Now you can see Finder here has Tello EDU, so I'm inside that folder on my desktop and you can see this folder here inside of this. I'm now gonna drop the zip file into this folder. So the file that we dragged to the desktop previously, Tello Master, drop that in there and double click this. This will then create another folder with all the files we need to install. Once you've done that, you can then close the file manager. And when we click back here, PyCharm will update, you can see the Tello files here. Now what I want to do is just right mouse click and then right mouse click Tello Master and down the bottom you can go open in and then type and click terminal. You can now see that we're inside of the virtual environment and we're inside the Tello Master file. If you want to check that you've got these files in there, you use the command ls and press enter which is list and you'll see these file names here. 
These are important because we need to install them. Now there's two commands we're going to use and especially behind the firewall where I work, we need to use the following things. So to install it, we're not going to use a pip install at the moment, we're just going to use Python 3 because it's going to be local and we're going to go setup.py and then we're going to tell it to install. So setup.py is the file here and we're telling Python to run this Python file and it'll install it and press enter. So once that's installed, we then need to just associate the Tello packages. So normally you just go pip install Tello. But if you're behind a firewall or um, you know you may be at work, you may have to do pip install. You need to put in some trusted hosts. So you need to use trusted hosts. And the first trusted host is py, pypi org. And the other trusted host is files from Python hosted org. And once again, you've got Tello on the end. And press enter. Now, this can take up to 20 seconds or 30 seconds to install, depending on your computer, or it might even be a little quicker. Now that once that's installed, you should be able to see underneath your Python packages. You can actually Pygame, Pillow, and the other associated packages we need to run this. So let's head on back up and write our very first code. Now I'm going to start a new project file, so Python, and I'm just going to call this test flight. Now we need to import the Tello package. So from Tello, import star. And then we want to start the drone. We then say if we want to get the power level. So let's just go power is equal to, and then we can get the battery power. So that'll take the percentage and store that in power. Maybe we want to see what that is on screen. So we just go print, and we just do a little bit of concatenation here. Power, and then because it's a percentage, we'll just put a percent sign on the end. Once we've done that, we can take off. And once we've finished the takeoff process, let's land it. And the program will stop. Now what we need to do is connect to our drone. If you haven't done this before, basically push your battery in, turn the drone on, it will then start flashing different colours on the face. So this will cycle through between red, orange, green type colours, then start broadcasting a SID. If you go to your network settings, you then should be able to see the SID, and it'll be something like Tello Dash and then it's ID. Select that on your Wi-Fi and that will connect you to your drone. The light should then start flashing orange. This means you have a connection. Right mouse click and go run test flight. And as you can hear in the background, my drone took off and landed. So we've successfully controlled our drone using using Python and then you can start importing random, you can import any packages and start applying it to your drone. If you go through the documentation for your drone from the code for fun site you'll also see the other commands you can do like perform a flip etc. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, if you did give it a like and a thumbs up and have a look around my YouTube channel for other useful Python and Tello coding projects.